everyone. We're now in the season of Advent and if we were in church I would actually be doing this. I would be taking a candle and lighting it. Because we've just had the first Sunday of Advent. The word Advent, Advent, comes from the Latin word Adventus, meaning coming, which is a translation of the Greek word parousia. So you could go home and say to your family, we are in the season of Advent, which is a translation from the Latin, which means coming. And they'll think, wow, what amazing school this child goes to. They know so many things. The season of Advent lasts for four Sundays, leading up to Christmas. This year, Advent began on Sunday, the 29th of November, which was yesterday. It's like a countdown. Four, three, two, one. Or it's a preparation for Christmas and that's for our hearts as well. Some people fast and in church we light Advent candles and use the colour purple. So I actually have a stroll here which is another word for scarf and it is a purple colour. So that's what we use in the month. Uh, well, in the in Advent. And we sing certain types of songs as well. We remember that Jesus is coming, that Jesus came to us and he's coming at Christmas. And we also remember that he's coming again. Someday he's going to judge the world and make everything right. So Advent is the time of waiting and hoping and longing for the promise of God to be fulfilled. And one of the songs we sing sounds quite sad. It's the longing for Jesus, who's Emmanuel, which means God with us. God with us, Emmanuel. And that's longing for Jesus to come and be with us. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Sounds pretty sad, doesn't it? And the chorus goes, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Do you remember a bloke called King David? His dad was called Jesse. And this reading starts with a tree which has been cut down but has started growing again. There's a shoot that has come from the tree that's been cut down. And really, it's talking about Jesus' family tree. All 43 generations of it. How amazing is that? So that's Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. The prophet Isaiah didn't have a Christmas tree. He had that stump. A stump with a single shoot growing from it and that says that in Isaiah 11 verse 1 which he wrote 700 years before Jesus was born. That is the real Christmas tree according to Isaiah and I've actually taken a twig and I've actually decorated it because we're going to have the Jesse tree. So do you like my snow covered twig with it should have glitter on as well uh, but I'm not sure if you can see that. And perhaps 
you can answer some questions. Can you name some of the people who are part of your family tree? Who is the branch that will grow on Jesse's tree? What does this passage say that Jesus would be like when he came? Why is Jesus better than anyone who came before him? That's something just to talk with your teacher about and uh, get to grips with Advent and the Jesse tree and what we're doing in this season of Advent. God bless you, every one of you, in this Advent season. Amen.